In short, Mr. Speaker, this is a man. Well, they can laugh. They can laugh. But the public know. The public know this is a man they can no longer trust. He has been investigated by the police. He misled the House. He must now resign. Order. You'll have to withdraw that last comment. Mr Speaker, I gave the evidence of the 8th of December. And, oh, order, order. You're going to have to withdraw misled. Mr Speaker, the Prime Minister has misled the House. Unless you withdraw, I will have to stop, and that's not good. Just withdraw the words. I am standing up for my constituents that know that this Prime Minister has lied and misled the House. Give me the paper. Give me the paper. Inadvertently misled. I'll give you one more chance. As leader of the SNP, I don't want to have to throw you out. I'm going to give you this chance. Please. Please to power. That man has misled the House. Shut up. I'm sorry it's come to this, and I'm sorry that the leader of the party has not got the decency to just withdraw those words in order that this debate can be represented by all political leaders. Would you like to inadvertently? If the Prime Minister has inadvertently misled the House, then I will state that. Right, we're going to leave it at that. Can I just say, I take it the Honourable Member has withdrawn it, the Right Honourable Member. That the Prime Minister may have inadvertently misled the House. But, no. should, or, order. To help me, to help the House, you withdraw on your earlier comment and replaced it with inadvertently. It's not my fault if the Prime Minister can't be trusted to tell the truth. Under the power given to me by Standing Order Number 43, I order the Honourable Member to withdraw immediately from the House. From the House. Rivera, it's, it's, it's all right, we don't need to bother. Right, let us move on. Andrew Mitchell.